Hey everyone, it is Mr. Adams and welcome back to my series on Photopea Basics. Photo P Basics. I've been saying Photopea, I don't know why, but it's Photo P Basics. Today we're learning about how to use brushes. Uh, brushes are just like paint brushes you have in real life. These brushes are used to create uh, different uh, gestures and marks on your graphic design and we will be using them a lot in the uh, weeks to come so here we go this is how you do a brush okay and this is going to be in preparation for your uh, candy advertisement that's going to be formally announced this week okay so the first thing we're going to do is go to a new project go ahead and name this project your last name p2 and what we're going to do is select Instagram down here. Instagram. Okay. Now, 72 DPI is okay, but we're going to go to 150 just to make it a little bit of a higher quality. Okay. So, 150 DPI. Hit create. Okay. Boom. And now we have our Instagram size, Instagram post, not story size, um, graphic. So, paint brushes. The paintbrush tool is the six button down on the toolbar tool over here. If you hover over it, you'll notice it'll say brush tool. Click it. Okay. Then you'll go up here to where the photo, uh, not the photo, the brush sizes are and uh, brush shapes are. And I want you to choose a shape that you think works best for you. And this is, it's just for practice. It doesn't have, it doesn't matter what shape you choose. Okay. So you notice that the size of the uh, brush is really small. So to enlarge the size of the brush, simply click the size toolbar and enlarge it to as big as possible and click off to the side. Oop. Make sure your brush is fully off. Let's say you want this to be larger than the max uh, size that is allowed by moving the, <clears throat> the size bar. If you press the right bracket key on your keyboard, which is near the backspace button, is the right bracket key, it'll enlarge it. And uh, inversely, you have the left bracket key will make it smaller. Okay. Then, make sure that your, since we have a white background, we want to make sure our white, uh, uh, our pink color is not white, so just make sure it's black or whatever color you want. Let's go with pink, because pink is fun. All right, then simply click anywhere on your graphic and bam, your pink uh, graphic, your pink paintbrush will mark itself, okay? And whatever paintbrush you have will show that shape on the graphic. So, for example, if I hit Edit Undo, and I want to change the shape of my brush to one of the ones that are available here, let's go with this one. Okay, again, it is smaller than I like it to be, so I'm touching my right bracket on my keyboard to enlarge it, and then click. Now we have this cloud looking shape. All right. And that's the simple way how to uh, use brushes on a background. All right. Now, what I want to show you guys is how to add a new layer. Okay. You simply click the new layer icon here, boop, and a new layer will populate. All right. This is important because when you use a paintbrush tool on a new layer, it allows you to do many different things that you can't do on the background layer. Remember, the background layer is always locked, so you can't do special effects to it, or you can't do th you can't do things that won't affect the entire image. So you got to create a new layer if you're interested in adding effects to these brushes. Okay, and just like any other thing we've done so far, text, PNG cutouts, to add effects to the brushes, you just double click on the layer, layer one, 
you double click on the layer and the layer style effects window populates okay so maybe you want to add a gradient you can do whatever you want with this um, with whatever is all the effects that are here you can do whatever you want okay so I'm adding a gradient I'm gonna maybe drop a shadow maybe I want to do an outer glow outer glow is really cool it gives like a nice cool glow effect it's a lot more visible when you have a dark background versus white all right so what you're going to submit to me as your assignment is gonna be I need to see that you have used the paintbrush and you've added effects to the brush and you can only add effects to the brush by having that new layer hit OK, okay. effects will only say if you hit OK all right so now once you have this just go to file export as JPEG it has to be a PNG or JPEG you can decide save it and then you're gonna upload it on canvas okay pretty simple now I did go a little fast but feel free to pause and reverse this video as much as you need. Next class, in our next video, I'm going to show you guys how to search for and download fonts onto your computer. Alright guys, thank you so much. Have a good one. Adios.